what is going on gang welcome back to a another halloween seven days of halloween video vlogs so in this video me and the girls decided to put down the princess tiaras this halloween and we decided to play around with some disney villains i saw these on uh, pinterest and it just inspired me to create like this modern day mean girls bad girls kind of vibe so the girls absolutely slayed it so in this video we're going to talk about what we did how we did it and let's get into it for these halloween costumes now you already know the deal before i can go any further if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come join the family we would love to have you to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey friend hey mama hope you are being blessed and safe as always let's go ahead and jump into it so we have the beautiful kehlani here my middle child and we are pressing out her hair because you know it's blowout season we gotta show them inches okay humidity is finally dying down in north carolina so i'm doing my girl some work so i've been using the garnier fruit tea sleek and shine and it has been doing wonders um I, I don't have no issues with it and then it's very inexpensive and you know i'm a frugal individual so i love it it does really good it performs very well on lonnie's hair so i just flat iron it at the highest heat that my flat iron can go and i believe that's like 430 or 425 somewhere in that range and i just take my time to silk it all out make sure i get those ends make sure everything is looking good trying to prevent any heat damage and woo -hoo -hoo! oh my gosh i can i never get over how good her hair looks when it is flat iron like this is literally my favorite freaking look on kehlani like oh i love it so once we are done with the hair it's gonna get time to get into the makeup All right, so I am a frugal individual, but I also don't believe in putting no $50 makeup on no kids. So I purchased one of them little Halloween pack makeup packets. It was like five or, or $10 at Walmart because I, I was not about to put no Morphe, no ColourPop, no no NARS, okay, Too Faced. None of that was about to be put on these kids, okay? I, I, I tried that, I've done that before. Waste of my time and my money. So I picked up this cheap, white eyeliner this cheap eyeshadow palette <laughs> and i mean it was making me have to work though because there was no such thing as blending with this cheap ass makeup and then the eyeliner was just as watery as it wanted to be but you know what i was determined to make a look and i created a look okay now we're moving on to the beautiful calista now i just freshly washed her hair i'm just gonna detangle it real quick and i kind of want to do like a slick back like a wet and wavy kind of look on calista because i just feel like you know i, I, I don't know I, that, that's just the image i had in my head was that she needs to have like a silk silk straight back and then we're going to use some temporary hair color this is in the color white and i do white even though um i kind of wanted silver but the white white did good because our hair is so jet black so you get like that mix of like gray white kind of yeah, yeah i sprayed that all over her head um she wasn't really a fan of this part but um hey you know it is what it is it kind of made her look like an old lady at first i kind of hated it and i was just like you know what my baby cute anyway it's all good it's all good so back with the cheap ass eyeshadow makeup that i purchased from walmart i again am using this on my three-year-old because again i ain't using no 50 dollars makeup on no kids okay they they it took them 10 minutes and they was licking it off anyway so it was like a waste of time now i wanted to be really heavy on the blush because you know every time you see disney villains they have like really heavy blush and makeup and stuff so i tried to do that and blend it out i'm sorry i got distracted right here my husband was trying to show me something and boo was just like feeling herself she was just like mm, look at me mm, pose angles angles i was like go ahead boo i ain't mad at you All right, the last one to go is Kalia. So this is a, uh, I think a week old wash and go that we did. So her hair was definitely in need of a wash. Um, she definitely needed some shampoo up in that head, but I was about to put some white spray color in her hair. So I was just like, ain't no point in me washing it if I'm at the turn around and then wash out that white spray paint because you can't go to school like that. So I was like, we gonna work with this dirty wash and go, okay? So I decided to make two uh, puff ponytails. I was gonna let her like let it all down, but I felt like I would've ran out of hairspray trying to paint all of that white like can y'all imagine 
packaging so i bought like six cans of that crap but i didn't want to go through all six cans i ended up using three just for one ponytail y'all just for one ponytail i used three cans of white coloring spray to you know make sure that the white was white so i had her lay a towel down on one side because of course the other side has to stay jet black and i went to town spraying this mess um she she absolutely hated the smell of it and then it was it was killer the the residue was getting all over the place so definitely don't wear no clothes that you okay with getting messed up um even though it is washable i recommend wearing something that you can uh, you know you can throw on throw off you ain't worried about it so after we do that we're gonna get into her makeup so i wanted to do like a smoked out look on kalia because i just felt like cruella had that smoked out well in the new cruella she had that smoked out eye so i kind of wanted to create that so i went back in again with my cheap halloween makeup kit and i just smeared black everywhere like everywhere possible um at first i was smearing a little too much because she looked like she had two black eyes so i had to go back in there and kind of clean it up and then i tried to do something with her eyebrows whoo my i mean she has gorgeous eyebrows but them things is thicker than a snicker okay so i tried to go in there and i did use my morphe pencil brush on this and that but that's okay because that's only an eight dollar pen and then i went in with some black lipstick um this is like some old lipstick um, i'm pretty sure i should probably throw it out i had it for probably about three four years uh so you know i i use that i'm whatever then i'm gonna go in with some blush i did a more pinky on her than the red that i did on boo and i kind of just you know dab that in there and it looked really good i kind of feathered it out so it doesn't look too bad and then we went to a parking garage late at night i know it sounds dangerous but these pictures came out fire do y'all my kids are serving freaking looks for halloween okay they i was like y'all y'all get up on the wall and do some bad girl poses pretend like you you know you about to f somebody up and let me tell you they was effing it up all right effing these pictures up my girls look bad to the bone, all right? This was really fun. I really had fun creating this look. Oh, let me go ahead and add. So I, I changed out the red lipstick for this dark burgundy to kind of give it like that vampy look. Ho, 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 a total look, guys. So thank you for joining us on another Halloween look. This is our Halloween look for 2021. We hope we give y'all some great ideas and inspiration for your Halloween as well. We will see y'all on another video. Be blessed and be safe.